Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Jason's ASMR studio. <laughs> what he means to say is hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, All right, I'll be sitting down as well. Okay, that works. Except not really. <clears throat> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? My name is Jason. And I'm Dr. Bob. And welcome back, or not welcome back, this is the first episode. Welcome to, welcome to the Stanley Parable. Dr. Bob here, on the other hand, has never played this game while I have. And so while I know what's happening... For three hours of it. For 217. <laughs> this is a mystery game, right? So. Oh, here you go. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Wish that was my Orders job. came to him to run around and like bag things. <laughs> telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. Made exactly Stanley for this job. Was happy. Oh my and God. he was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never he quite forget. For job. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something Are you ready was to very play? clearly wrong. Yeah. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. All right, so you're as he came to his WASD wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. What is the narrator is telling you what to do. I don't All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? What could this Stanley mean? decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Right, of course. I probably just missed a memo. That that would definitely cause all of this. Yeah, you just you just missed a memo. That's fine. No. Wait, wait. What room is this? <laughs> Wait, this isn't family friendly. <laughs> you want to get into that room? <laughs> yeah, I'll get used to it. I should get used to it because I'm going to be a PC gamer one day, and I'm going to. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. You this have is a the left, right? Oh, I, you have what a choice. What if I don't listen to him? What would happen if you didn't listen to him? But I'm left-handed, so I always pick the left. So okay. I just happen to listen to him. Okay. But I could be a rebel. Mm, do you that want the to be a rebel? Spirit of being left-handed, being a rebel. But do you, but is, do is it I, though? Is it though? Do I obey the letter of the law or the spirit? Hmm. hmm. This is a very hard philosophical Disobedience decision. at the correct times would lead to adventure. I'm gonna go but to the But is left. this the correct time? Okay. No. Nope, too late. It's, it's not too late. Yeah, it is. So, no, it's too late. Yeah, it's too late. Ha! <laughs> Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of fired. disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, this hoping is too he true. might find an answer <laughs> there. I actually solved a dispute very nicely at work one time. Ooh, nice. Yeah. It was satisfying. Whoa, wait. Whoa. What? Whoa. Whoa, check that out. The broom closet? Press E to interact. Oh, right, press E to interact. Well, I don't like dusty old brooms, so I don't know why I'd... What if it closes behind me, too? What? it? Check it out. I'm not gonna check it out. No, go, go, go. I'm not. You okay, can't fine. Tell me if, what to do. You know, if you, if you really don't want it to, well then go ahead. Because this game is all about free will. I don't have any free will. I'm a corporate slave. <laughs> Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Upstairs. Do you want upstairs? Yeah, I'm going upstairs. Okay. Upstairs it is. I love going upstairs. I am a corporate wage slave. Uh, why does the office look like this? It's a little weird. Uh, I mean, this is the uh, boss's office, so it's got to look outstandingly lavish. This looks like a home. <gasps> Piano. Standing into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known 
was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra Two, secret eight, four, five. pin number. 2845. Behind the desk, right? But of course, yeah. Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. To your uh, right. 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 Yeah. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Trying to get incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Oh, Amazing. I was so lucky. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. The newly opened passageway. Oh. Hmm. What? Why would this be in a boss's office? Because this is a TV show. Is that a TV show? I'm, I'm on reality TV. And you didn't know it? Yeah. That's a... Ugh, never mind. You, ha you haven't seen the movie, so I'm not telling you. What movie? There was a movie about this? Uh, I'm not telling you. Wait, was the Stanley Parable based off of the movie? No, it's not. Oh, okay. Press E. Oh, E, right. Uh, press e. There you go. Are you ready? I'm ready to, to discover the dark secrets. The dark secrets? Is it a dark secret, though? It could be. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I haven't played this before. I know nothing about the game except Stanley it's supposed realized to be he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Do you? Why did trying he feel to be a corporate wage slave. When for years, it had never occurred well to him. This question would not go unanswered for long. Better be careful to listen to the voice and stay out of trouble now. <laughs> Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control oh, Facility. Perfect. Wait, wait. What? Did you did you see that other area? Go the back. Other area? No, no, I have to walk through the mind control facility. Are you sure you want to walk into the mind control facility? Well, obviously the voice just told me to. Oh, well what if the voice is uh trying to uh I don't gain think the power. voice could be wrong. Is the voice good or is the voice bad? I think the voice is good. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television Ooh, screens. TV. I like TV. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Well, what is the voice telling me? Do I have the strength to find out? Do you? Mm, I guess. There's okay. nowhere else to go. Go ahead then. A lot of nice looking desks reminds me of my job that I love. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Oh. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. Wait, the I just lives saw of so many individuals reduced right? to images on a screen. Yeah, you're 427. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Freedom means nothing. That's okay. That's okay if freedom means nothing? Yeah, that's totally fine. Okay. Let me see myself. Four two seven. Oh, I lost track before it went back. I wasn't sure it would. That's okay. This mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his oh, emotions okay. had been manipulated to accept it blindly? I mean, is that a problem? I love not being fired. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't exactly. accept it. My life his can't own life control. in someone else's what control? Never. It's definitely not. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Yes. Was it even possible? Was it? Had he even truly possible? spent his entire life utterly blind to the blind. world? I hope I can get back to my office soon. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. Wow, all of it monitored it. and commanded from this very This really makes me want to go back to my office. As the cold reality work. of his past <laughs> began to sink so in, every single Stanley decided that this had, machinery would every single never action again you did, exert its terrible it was power over another human being. Including the, for he including the sadness would dismantle and the, the controls once no, because and for <clears> all. Right now it's. it's, it's mm, well, there's only one thing I can do, which is try and find my way back to the office. <laughs> Why do you want to go back? 
I was happy there. No, you weren't. I need to turn this mind control back. All right, so here's the thing. Happy. You you were happy, but here's the thing. Yeah. It's fake happiness. It's okay. You don't care if it's fake or not. I you don't, don't care. It was here, so right here. Oh wait, it's a waiting input. I can do this. You have two choices. Mm -hmm. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his no, obligation, not yet. to okay. put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. See, he thinks he should turn it off. But I want to be happy again. But it's fake. But if maybe you I knew, listen to the voice. I'm I'm struggling. Did I listen to the voice or go for the fake happy? If you are happy, but you knew it was fake, are you truly happy? Yes. No! Oh my god! I'm a computer program. What do I know about You're philosophy? not a computer program. You're a person. You deserve to be free! You deserve to be- Oh, Stanley. Oh my god. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what I you wanted? Control? control? Off would be on. Oh, Stanley. I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. So the real mind you control were supposed to let it go. Oxy. Turn the controls you were supposed off to and leave. Off. And oh, leave. I if you messed want to up. I'm never going to get back to my cubicle. You're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated over? without proper DNA, not until you finish this ending. Nuclear okay. detonators are set to explode. Nuclear detonators are set to explode. How long until the detonation? The then? Mm, let's say um, two minutes. Two oh, minutes. Now, this is making things a little more fun, isn't You it, have two minutes to disarm it. Go into the other room. The There's star. a super it's secret pattern now. Shape it to, your to disarm it. Desires. Oh, this is Even I don't know it. I had in mind. You don't what know it? Shame we no, I don't. Did you ever get to enjoy it? Mere I was never able to defuse the bomb. Off. What if I just click all part of the joke? Try. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say happily ever up. Ooh. I win. Hey, you win. Da 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 da. Okay, can I try this again and not die? Maybe. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How's it going? And welcome back to. Jason's ASMR Salon with your host Jason No, I don't want to start an ASMR channel. I'm just gonna do this on the side All right So All now co-workers were gone. What could it mean? It completely Stanley resets. decided to go to the meeting completely room. perhaps he had simply missed a memo Yeah, I probably just missed a memo I'm gonna pretend I don't remember what happened last time <laughs> Push for funding of R and D with new coffee machine. Get Chris out of the broom closet. Broom closet. There's a guy in the broom closet. Broom closet. Hold up. There's a guy in the. There's a guy in the broom closet. Broom closet. Everyone is unique. You most of all. There's a guy in the broom closet. Broom closet. We must liberate him from the broom closet. Go inside. But I said I was gonna listen to the guy. No, you gotta go inside. I said I was gonna listen to the guy. But I think you gotta go inside. But I gotta listen to the guy. You know what? I think you Chris, gotta go inside. Chris is my Stanley own buddy. stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. Oh, okay. so he no, 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 no. Stay in there. Stay in there. No, 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 no. Go to the broom closet. Broom closet. No, 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 no. Stop. What are you doing? Broom closet. Coming to a stand. <laughs> Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Why would I go in the broom closet? Obviously, Chris isn't there anymore. He probably already got out. This is reasonable. What I would do. How do you oh, know that Chris is a is a person? Executive bathroom. Ooh. Maybe I have to use the bathroom actually. Oh, I just closed it more. Wait. Oh. There's a bathroom. No, actually, I don't have to use the bathroom. It's fine. Actually, I've never been in there before. Go in there. Oh, it's already closed. I'll do that next time. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. I can do it. Ooh. I did it. I did exactly what, did you what do? I said. I turned it off. Are you sure? Yeah, of course. That's that's what he said I did. 
and I always trust the voice. Okay. Blackness. And a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles hmm. still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? Well, but as I'm sunlight outside. streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even trees. power that he it's had beautiful. been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Wow, I'm Whatever so glad that the voice is telling me how to feel. Oh, look. And that was all it's beautiful. he Beautiful. This is the it best ending when I listen the to the voice. Thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Wait, but do you step through the open door? You could. Do you want to? Yeah, it looks so cool. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. Oh, the yeah, of I win. <laughs> the immense Did you possibility win? of the new the path best ending. before I love it. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Aw, wow, that's a great game. I feel like I really reached the depth of it all. I really <laughs> found what the whole what the whole hype is about, you know? Hmm. This is this has to be as deep as it gets. This is the end. Awesome. But then again, the end is never the end. But I have to say, is Chris. never the end. Is never the end. Is never. But then I'm right back. The end. Hold up. Yeah. Well. A soft wind blew outside, and perhaps rain started. And if it did, it stopped shortly after. Stanley, Stanley hoped remembers. that he would one day see weather. Stanley remembers. Does Stanley remember? Stanley does not remember. No, Stanley remembers. Huh. Well, this room is exactly the same as it was before. Ooh, what's in here? No, okay. When Stanley came to a set of no two way. open doors, he entered do. the door on his Are you sure you want to stick with the left? Obviously I want to stick with the left. Okay. Maybe I should get to the meeting room. Yet there was not a single person oh, here wild. either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. I have to save Chris from the broom closet. Okay, now close the door. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 not again. I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Please take your time. See, there's a reason why I wanted for you to stay in the broom, ro broom room. Chris is in here. Cl broom closet. Chris is trapped in the broom closet, and I'm Chris. No, 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 no. There's a reason why I wanted you to stay. Is because if you stayed in there, right? Mm -hmm. um, every like 30 seconds or so, the uh, the narrator would say another line of dialogue about how he's tired of you staying in the broom closet, mm -hmm. and then you just keep on staying in the broom closet, and you're antagonizing the narrator, and then he gets super annoyed at you, and it's hilarious. And the like, the the his his lines are incredibly hilarious, and you missed all of it, and now it just skips over. I skipped over all the cool lines. Yeah. But I didn't want to spoil anything for you, but no. I thought I was going to save Chris. No, you were just going to stay in there, and then the narrator was going to say some really funny lines. Oh, I just wanted to save Chris. Now I wanted to go down the right door. Do you want to go up or down? To a no, go down. Standing or up. Yeah, yeah. Go down. Okay. To his boss's office. Hmm. I wonder what's in the basement. Will this take me straight to where the boss's uh, elevator took me? Will it? It might. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive like economy, why had he taken that risk? No, because he believed everyone had vanished. 
His boss would think Someone he was crazy. On the spot. And then something <laughs> occurred to Stanley. Maybe Keep on walking, he thought go. to yeah. himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Actually, it's because of why 3D games. Your character is literally just a ball with arms, and that's how it's went. supposed to work. And for that matter, so if you look these rooms are starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply oh. repeating? No, yeah. Stanley keep on walking. himself. This is all too strange. This keep can't on be real. Keep, hurry up. And at go, last, go, go, go. he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Of course. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an but explanation. I'm not his co workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I I'll wake cool up drinks. soon. Now, I'll go I back to my boring real life <laughs> job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying. And began to gently float above the ground. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Then he imagined himself floating. soaring through space on a magical star field, and are. it too appeared. No, it was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Mm. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing? And Why is thinking? the voice like revealing itself like now that? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who I found it particularly cola. strange. <laughs> I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts. I'm gonna get in this thought. car break out of here. And while he thought it all very odd and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? This isn't a dream. Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility. I can't keep going in circles. Stanley you have is to. Awake or right do now. you have to? You can, or you can't. I forget where the exit is. Now, the hearing problem. the voice but... speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for mm. certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Or Did is the it? voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. How am I going to prove that this, this is a dream? was a dream? How do you prove your so dream? So he closed his eyes gently. No, and he invited he himself to wake up. Gently. I didn't he close my eyes. the weight of the blanket on his skin. The press of the mattress on his back. You're going the to wake up. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up. He forced me to go to himself. sleep. I'm Shut through up. with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please. It's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my well, job. Well, I didn't realize I had a wife in all this I life. Maybe I shouldn't have stopped listening. <laughs> <laughs> the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything, Everything will, be will be fine. fine. You don't I trust this voice. Okay. And... Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. That's Please, what makes you just real. someone tell me I am real. I have I a must boss. Be I have real. an office. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. <gasps> this is what, what happens, happens when you don't listen to the voice. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Is that my wife? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. Hmm. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking what? and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Oh, and although dear. she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered strange. the strange man. He was obviously crazy, this much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. Everyone and in that knows. moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. 
I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day, the very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. Well, glad she she's had no normal. Time for this. So it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. This is such a good critique of the life script. Yeah. It's like, why do we do what we do? So, the end. Which is never the end, of oh, course. Of course it's never, but probably not for this episode. Yeah, okay. Um, and, you know, well, the croquet games are about to start, yeah, so we gotta go. Uh, we definitely appreciate you watching the video, and remember... Batteries can't power what's really important.